That's the new uh, GX200 clone engine. Got off eBay for 90 quid, £102, 50 including postage and packaging from uh, Pumps UK, I think is the eBay ID. Um, I've taken the governor off, which is that gear, plus a bit of shaft and a couple of washers and things, so the engine can freely spin up now. It just went on the other side of that stud. So I've hammered that through, let all the stuff fall inside the crankcase, taken all the bits out. And then I've just um, cut the uh, stud in half and then just tapped it back in from this side just to stop oil from pissing out. Made up a bit of a throttle, throttle linkage. Um, as it stands though, this throttle linkage setup will stop the uh, fuel tank from being fitted because it'll foul up here because the fuel tank will, will sit here. But if need be, I can uh, wangle something from this end. Which is what the carting boys do, and they'll do the throttle um, shaft will just come across here, and it'll just pull on that and actuate the throttle like so. Um, that's a standard cam I've taken out, nylon gear. There's a high lift cam coming as part of the kit, as is there'll be an aluminium flywheel. Because that weighs nearly three kilos, I think that's steel one, so there'll be a bit of weight saving there. There'll be a new connecting rod. There'll be a new exhaust instead of this boring old muffler, and there'll be a nice big chunky foam air filter. Uh, and just be a case of refitting it all. The cowling, the recoil start, and instead of the the miserly six and a half horsepower. We should be getting over 13. So couple that with a 34 by 10 inch prop, spinning directly off the off the output shaft. And hopefully it'll get at least 40 kilograms of thrust. Um, and if I do go a bit mental again, I can always fit nitrous to it, like I did the uh, like I did the older motor. And um, I may nudge 50. Um, I weighed the motor as it is now, still with the old exhaust muffler on. Um, and as it stands, it weighs about 9 kilograms. So I think with the, with the new flywheel on, the aluminium flywheel, and all the bits back on, hopefully it shouldn't top 14 kilograms. And because it's going to be a fairly small cage, because it's, a, it's less than a 3 foot prop, I can't see me using more than, than 6 kilos of steel for the cage. So I think around about the 20 kilo mark which won't be too bad. Plus it probably will fit on the back seat of most cars without uh, the need for disassembler. But that's all to come. So there she is. The Egg 2 power unit.